bin. Guess what? Christmas is going to be absolute bobbins this year. Assuming we're even allowed out again uh, after the lockdown that started on the 4th of November. Uh, supposed to end on the 2nd of December, but probably won't. So, what are we going to do for Christmas dinner? We're on our own. You don't want to buy turkey. So what about Tesco turkey sausages? You could have a sausage Christmas dinner with turkey sausages. So you're still having turkey, but you're having them sausages instead of a full turkey. It's a lot cheaper, a couple of quid for a pack, if not less, I can't even remember. Um, uh, turkey, 81%, water, rice flour, pea fibre, potato starch, tapioca starch, uh, dextrose sugar, yeast, black pepper, parsley, dried onion, white pepper, onion powder, mace, nutmeg, uh, rape seed oil, preservatives, uh, a few bits and pieces, oregano, uh, filled in natural non-UK beef casings, uh, made using British turkey. So basically, it's sausages that are turkey. So if you want the turkey taste without the turkey price, because you're on your own, then you can do a lot worse than turkey sausages. Or can you? The good news is, they are gluten-free. The bad news is, well, I don't know if there is any bad news yet. Let's have a look. So when you cook them, come out looking like that. Which basically looks like a sausage, let's be honest. So let's cut into it. Smell all right. So it looks like when you cut into it. It's got a few herbs and spices. It's interesting texture in it. It has a bit of sliced it in it, the bits broke off, and that's what it's like in your mouth. It's like you put it in your mouth and it's a sausage. And it tastes all right, but after a couple of chews, it feels like you're eating mints. It's well seasoned though. So what if you don't want to eat this sausage with um, sprouts and potatoes and whatever, because they're cheap enough. You can buy sprouts, frozen sprouts. You can use a tin of potatoes if you want uh, to get the potato effect. And voila, you've got a Christmas dinner. Unless you want to eat it with like egg and bacon. <laughs> well, let's find out. Egg. See what I mean about the texture of it though? I've sliced it and those bits are on the uh, fork, which you don't normally get with a sausage, do you? Hmm. Oh, I was just on its own. Right, let's dip, let's dip it in yolk. Splurge. I dipped it too much and someone's broke off. Okay, it's all right with egg. What about a bit of bacon? Oh, it's not bacon. It's turkey bacon. See another review for the turkey bacon. And egg. Let's have a triple whammy. all right so gluten-free tesco's uh turkey sausages if you're having them for christmas dinner because you can't be asked buying a turkey and why would you 
you're on your own. Then I give them, I give them four, four stars out of five, which is pretty good. If however you just buy them seven with egg and chips or egg and bacon or whatever, then it's a bit of a weird combination. So I'd probably, I'd, I'd probably go three and a bit. Could I do three and a bit? I don't know, I can do three and a bit. So yeah, if you're having them with sausages, three and a bit. But if you want them as an alternative to forking out for a bloody turkey when you're on your own, definitely four stars out of five. Until next time, we're seeing you.